Hi everyone, this is Carmen and thank you so much for watching my first tutorial on Unity. So today I'm going to teach you how to use Blender to create a link that we'll then export into Unity and then we'll turn it into a chain within the 3D world. If you haven't already then obviously be sure to download Blender, I will leave a link in the description and I've decided to do this video today as to be honest it's one that I found quite hard to find online and if I can help somebody then great. So the first thing that we need to do is select our cube and then we need to press X. Once we've pressed X, we'll press delete and then we'll press shift A. We'll go to our mesh and then we'll go down to torus. Once we've done that, we need to go to the object properties, which is the seventh box down and we need to change X, Y and Z location to zero. We need to change rotation X to 90 degrees. Uh, perfect. We'll just move that into place. Then if we just press tab and then we'll go into edit mode. Once we're in edit mode, if we press Z and we'll go to wireframe. Just move that into place. Then we'll press Alt and A. And then once we've done that, we'll press B and 2. And then we'll select the nodes that we want to stretch out. You should just have the move um, up button anyway, but if not, it is actually the third box down on your left. Once we've done that, if we press tab again, and we'll go to the object mode. If we press Z, we can turn it into a solid. At the moment, that's actually quite poly. So if we go to object, and we go to shade smooth. Once we've done that, we need to create a material. So if we go to material properties and then add new. You do need to select use nodes for this to work. And then we will change the base color. Um, no, I like that, it's quite nice shading. Perfect, now we've got our link. So if we go to file, we'll go down to export and then we'll go down to fbx okay so for some reason my file folders aren't actually showing on screen record if you know of any good softwares then please comment down below what i've done is in the destination folder i've just saved it directly into the 3d project that i'm using and made sure that selected objects is ticked once you've changed the name then export the file this might be the case for some folders in unity as well okay i just had a look and that's the case for some of the ad components what i'll do is post an image along with me talking and with unity on. the fun part for me to be honest in the future i very much doubt i'll be adding videos that will have that much to do with blender but let's get started so we go to our assets. I already had a folder that I had named chain link and then we'll just drag the asset we made in Blender into our scene view. It was showing our hierarchy but if I just move it over so it's a little bit better on the camera and then we can get some more links in. I'll press F now and we'll zoom in and then Alt and left key and just get a bit of a better view. Perfect. So if we add a component now and then we'll just add a rigid body. And there you have it, we've got our first link. So the next thing that we need to do is copy and paste the first link. So you can do this by highlighting the link, pressing Control C and then Control V. And then if we drag this down into place, obviously you can take um, more time just making sure that they're positioned right within your own project. But for the sake of the video, um, we just make this a bit quicker. So change your rotation to 90. And then underneath we need to add another component of Mesh Collider. On the Mesh Collider, we do actually need to make sure that the convex is ticked. If we just tick this one. And then after this, we need to go and add another component. Oh, <laughs> sorry, add another component of Hinge. Hinge joint. Yeah, select that. Once we've got our hinge joint in place, if you have a look underneath, there's a connected body with a rigid body. 
we need to just drag our first link into this rigid body. There, there's our first two links. So we just need to do the same with link one, just copy and paste it again. We drag it down into place. We'll change rotation Y in a moment, just to zero. Um, zero. Perfect. I think what we'll do just for the sake of the video, um, so we can just get a little bit of a swing on it, if I just drag this one down and then I'll rotate its position slightly. And just drag it over into place. Obviously, you don't have to do that. Like I said, it's just more for when I press play. Um, hopefully, we can get a nice little swing on the chain. Move that. And then we'll just copy and paste this above link. And then link that down. And we just add a slight bit of rotation on this link now. Um, yeah, that. Yeah, that's a tiny bit closer. So we add a rotation. I'll just steer it slightly, just so. Well, I hope this works. <laughs> okay, perfect. So what we do actually need to do is just make sure as well in all of the connected bodies that they're linked to the previous links. So um, that's link one. Then on link two, we need to make sure that it's showing link one. And then basically just repeat this process. Once you've got enough links, especially if you're doing a straight chain, um, they should just automatically be within the connected body, but just make sure that you have a look. And now we're on our final two steps. So with the original link that we had, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tick is cinematic. Then we're gonna add a component of the mesh collider. And we're gonna leave this one as unticked as this one is the is cinematic. Now for the moment of truth, and there you have it, your 3D chain, it's working. So I really hope that this helped some of you guys out. If it did, then leave a comment below and have a great day.